Hi, Pat McMahon and uh, a, a theater guy, because I love live theater, grew up in live theater. My parents were a vaudeville act, and I was either backstage or in the third row. But I'm also pretty crazy about our downtown theater. I'm talking about the Herberger. And Mark Metis, uh, you're probably pretty fond of not only the theater in the last seven years that you've been there in your position your official title is president and ceo oh you are given absolutely no humility whatsoever <laughs> uh, but you must be excited about this coming season yes, because it's yeah. a thrill tell everybody right now well the season is going to be amazing we're as an organization we've been around for 33 years but this season will be the first in bringing a lot of firsts to the Valley. So people will be able to see these shows. Islander is the first show coming in January. Woman in Black is coming in February. And Mad Hatter, the musical, is coming in May. Next. Well, now, uh, listen, please pardon us if we're not familiar uh, with uh, the subtleties of the plots <laughs> of those shows. But as long as you're here and you've got a large audience watching, Start with the first one, give us a digest. All right, well, Islander is new in musical. It is just gonna be coming across the country this fall and will be the third stop on the national tour. This show has won awards, been given high um, reviews everywhere that it's played. What makes it unique is that it tells this story about the Scottish coastline with Scottish folk music in the background, but it, it is told in a very unique way with this live layering of voices that happens right on stage by the two cast members. And they are layering their voices to creating harmonies with themselves, creating wow. interesting and, and amazing sounds as a background to the story that takes place. With Scottish accents, will we be able to understand them past the first row? We will be able to uh, understand them, yes, for sure. It is an international cast, but, it, but we'll be able to understand them. And that opens when? Uh, in January, yes. And runs for how long? Three weekends. Three weekends. And then? And then Woman in Black, oh. which... Ooh. Yes, which is bone chilling and scary and, and interesting and in the way it's told. And this show, which has never played in Arizona either, is the second longest running show in the history of theater in Britain. So West and everywhere, this is a long running show because audiences keep going back because everybody likes to be a little scared. It's something about shows that are long running in Britain because in the United States, it's uh, like Phantom of the Opera, uh, Cats, uh, a few years. And there, it's decades. Decades, decades, 34 years. <laughs> yes. So it's been running that long, and people just keep going back. And some people who saw it when they were kids are bringing their, um, their kids to see it now. But we're, we're having that show here, direct from London, direct from West End, and it's going to... Um, create a little scare for our audiences. And is it uh, too scary for kids? Not, well, for little kids, maybe, but high school kids have loved it. I would say uh, junior high and up is a good age for that. And then comes something that I can relate to because I've always thought of myself as living somewhere in Alice Land, the Mad Hatter. <laughs> Mad Hatter. Now that show is going to be the world premiere of the fully realized production. And that is on a trajectory for Broadway and the West End, but it's going to start here. So Arizona audiences are going to be the first to see that show before it's there. And you'll be able to say, I saw it when. Well, now, is it really about that Mad Hatter? It is. It's sort of a prequel to Alice in Wonderland, the way Wicked is a prequel to Wizard of Oz. Um, it's a little bit darker and tells the story of how the Mad Hatter becomes mad in his oh. trips from London into Wonderland and what happens when he's thrust out of Wonderland and how, what will he do to get back? I had always heard that the Mad Hatter actually lost his sanity because he couldn't get tickets because he waited too long at the Herberger. That is how about that possible. for a promo? Yes, huh? I like it, I like it. <laughs> and it all begins when? 
Uh, Mad Hatter is May 1st through the 19th, so three weekends before it. And there are folks that just moved here from Passaic, New Jersey, who have no idea where the Herberger is. Tell them now. The Herberger Theater is downtown Phoenix, and you can find all about it and tickets at herbergertheater.org. Done as someone who has been promoting theater for a number of years, Mark <laughs> Metis. I'm Pat McMahon, and there'll be more in just a moment.